Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss some of the important points related to the RCC beam or reinforced concrete beam. So, we start with some of the important technical terms related to the reinforced cement concrete. So, starting with the first one that the minimum that the minimum dimension of RCC beam a reinforced cement concrete beam should not be should not be less than 230 millimeter into 230 millimeter keep in mind if you want to design the beam RCC beam then its minimum dimension breadth and width should be if this is the width of the beam and this is the depth of the beam then these two dimension should not be less than the 230 millimeter and 230 millimeter this is the minimum dimension recommended for the design of the reinforced cement concrete the second point states that the minimum minimum number of steel bars steel reinforcement bars should be 4 it means if this is the beam if, consider, if I consider this is a beam so the minimum number of steel bar should be 4 so you provide one here one here one here and one here so there are four minimum number of steel bars these are the main two are the main and two at the bottom the third point is the regarding the regarding the steel bar so the steel grade there are different grades of steel the steel grade in RCC beam should not be less than FE500 there are different grade of steel for example FE 415 if is 600 or something like this but keep in mind your steel grid in RCC beam should not be less than the if e 500 when you design your beam now the fourth point is the minimum minimum diameter of main tensile reinforcement bar should not be less then 12 millimeter keep in mind that your diameter of the main bars if this is the cross section so the main bars are provided here at the bottom to take the tensile stresses so the diameter of this one and of this one should be at least 20 12 millimeter it should not be less than this value for your design of RCC beam so the next point the next point is regarding the minimum diameter of stirrups used in beam should not be less than 8 millimeter. So the minimum diameter of the bars used in the design of the beam should be at least 8 millimeter if I draw here the beam here this is the beam and you know that stirrups are provided like in this way these are stirrups provided vertically to take the shear stresses so the minimum diameter of these bars should be at least 8 millimeter this is the diameter of these stirrups should, should it should be at least 8 millimeter and also the sixth point is related to this that the maximum spacing maximum spacing between the stirrups should not be greater than 300 millimeter so the spacing by spacing i mean 
if this is the distance between the stirrups, if this is the distance, this is the distance. So this distance is should be less than the 300 millimeter. It should not be 320. For example, it is 320, so it should not be 320. It should be less than the 300 millimeter or equal to 300. It should not be greater than 300 millimeter, the spacing between the stirrups. And also, the seventh point is that the minimum grade of concrete, minimum grade of concrete to be used to construct the beam, minimum grade of concrete to be used is, should not be, should not be less than M15. M15 means that the mix ratio of this concrete is 1 ratio 1.5 sorry it is 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 is the mix ratio for this concrete and its strength is 15 megapascal so so th these are some of the important technical terms related to the design of the reinforced concrete beam so keep in mind that I will also upload more technical uh, technical things related to the beam uh, columns and slab. So don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.